went to Nepal to do the job that I always wanted to do. I always wanted to be a foreign correspondent and uh, to cover stories internationally. And while I was, you know, working my tail off and trying my best, um, I just, I realized I wasn't the right person to be telling the stories. Christy Hegrinus is a highly trained journalist studying at the prestigious Pointer Institute for Media Studies before getting her master's in journalism at New York University. I didn't speak the language, I didn't have the trust of the local people because I was an outsider. After spending time in Nepal trying to convince locals to open up and tell their stories, she realized that despite all her training, in the end, she was, and always would be, the outsider. And that would be a difficult obstacle to overcome. Oh, yes, I'm I'm so happy to see you. Which is why she decided to go to work with insiders. All of the indicators from World Health Organization and the, uh, the United Nations uh, tell us that when you invest in local women, they reinvest in their community. So that's really the first uh, agent of change for us is uh, employing and investing in these local women. Christy started recruiting women she could teach to become journalists to work for her new organization called the Global Press Institute, GPI. We want our stories to be different and better than every other story coming out of Nepal. So anyone who takes our training program and completes it for six months gets a job offer from GPI. We offer them long-term employment so that they can put the skills that they've just learned uh, to practical use. The training curriculum at GPI focuses on really traditional, rich, ethical investigative reporting. So it's not, uh, it's not blogging, it's not, um, you know, more citizen journalism kind of style. It's really, um, really rich, traditional, ethical storytelling. And you guys alone can show the world a different side of Nepal, both good and bad. Christy looks for women who are willing to work hard, to learn, and most importantly, who have a desire to better themselves. One of her prize reporters is Tara Bhattarai. Myself, I like to write story uh, uh, about uh, women related issues. Tara saw an advertisement for GPI back in 2007. The job offered an opportunity she and many other women in Nepal couldn't have dreamed existed. When I was uh, a child, at that time uh, for the ladies uh, not allowed to go to school. So I struggled to go to school, and I was also that time parentless. After working as a reporter for five years, Christy promoted Tara to editor of the GPI news desk in Nepal. You know that our mission is to do three things for women around the world. Educate, employ, and empower them using journalism. So we strive for innovation in the stories that we tell. We want our stories to be different than any other media stories. These women, Tara in particular, um, in so many ways, I consider her almost like the co-founder of GPI, you know, because she um, she's demonstrated that it works. On this day, Tara's assignment is to interview a woman who was a victim of domestic violence and has been kicked out of the house by her husband. The interview starts slowly. Tara does most of the talking. But as she continues her conversation, the woman gradually becomes more comfortable and is soon opening up about the hardship she has faced. After 90 minutes, Tara has enough for her article. As soon as she completes this story, she will move on to the next and the next, focusing on women's issues that are overlooked in Nepal's media. GPI is uh, very important because uh, this, uh, Nepal is a very poor country uh, and lot, lots of problem here. She walks through the streets a strong, confident woman. Nothing like the girl Christy first met. Someone like Tara, who, you know, six years ago uh, was a very different person in a very different place. And today, you know, she walks into a room and people want to shake her hand and she can get interviews in any government ministry and she's, she's powerful. You know, she's powerful and people read and recognize her stories and um, 
time. So that's really great to watch. But everything that's in that frame, the viewer sees, and sometimes something might be distracting. The women who are hired as reporters for GPI receive professional training. If they can produce good reports on important issues, it can mean worldwide exposure through syndication for themselves and GPI. When you take a photograph, the shutter of the camera opens and closes to let in light to make the photograph. As I told the women during the training, there are photographs that have changed history, that have changed the course of a war or changed um, a, civil, a civil rights or a social movement. But the focus at GPI is not just producing news content. After they go through this training and they understand the power they have it, it, with their words and now with their photographs, as one of the girls said last night, my stories are all around the world with this sense of pride. And you're talking to about um, women who often didn't have much of a voice before. And with their new voices, these young reporters are focused on giving others like them their own chance to be heard. I have to raise the voiceless people's voice. That I'm really happy with because I have a tool, I have a skill to, to raise the issues of the voiceless people. You can sense the emotion in Yam Condell's words. Her work as a reporter is important. In fact, she feels her reports on climate change and health issues in Nepal are the most important thing she has done in her entire life. I'm really very happy to work with my team and then with the GPI team. I'm really, really very happy. I don't have any word to express my happy, really. <laughs> Each of the GPI reporters is equally impressed at the life-changing opportunity offered to them. I never uh, ever thought that um, I would become a journalist one day and my voices would uh, be global voice one day. It's amazing things. It's amazing. It's amazing. Offered to them by Christy Hegrin. <laughs> I work now in 25 countries uh, in virtually every region of the world and uh, we employ more than 120 women. The opportunity means so much to these women and it's been really truly extraordinary uh, to watch them use this opportunity to not only change their own lives and their families' lives but literally the lives of millions of people. In the hands of women, journalism can be a change maker for the entire community. Grinnell College proudly recognizes Christy Hegrinus, founder of the Global Press Institute, with the 2012 Grinnell Prize for her work in international journalism and women's economic empowerment. The prize honors young innovators and leaders while acknowledging the college's history of social change. Congratulations to founder Christy Hegrinus and the Global Press Institute.